Okay, so next steps. Now, as an additional assignment, check this out right here. That This blog post uh, is super informative uh, and it allows you to spot uh, basically uh, regular expressions that are vulnerable to redos uh, through catastrophic backtracking, which I uh, kind of started to bring up uh, in the previous section, okay? But anyhow, uh, you can also find a link to this within the show notes so you don't have to physically type this all out. But okay, so <laughs> go ahead and check out that blog post. Then within a within a code base, look for any regular expressions, right, uh, that are vulnerable uh, to redos attacks. And this, this code base can either be your employers or an op open source project. Uh, there's plenty of code out there. Um, so once you check that out uh, and, and say, let's say you find something. Like, the first question is, is it's like, okay, do we even need a regex here at all? Can we just leverage, say, an input validation library? And it might just have a simple method like, is valid email, right? Uh, and you could just go ahead and, and let the, the input validation library that are lever usually pretty hardened against redos attacks uh, go ahead and, and deal with that for you, okay? But let's just say that there is a regex uh, that is custom and it, it, it just, yeah, it, it needs to be there. So at this point, you would be basically doing some refactoring uh, to to number one, make sure that the input uh, has a, uh, the input that's coming in that's being fed into the regex uh, has a, a length validation on it, okay, number one. And then number two, go ahead and refactor that regex uh, given this blog post uh, to prohibit the catastrophic backtracking. So anyhow, uh, that's kind of the, the thought process. And I mean, in, the, in, in an ideal world, <laughs> a little bit more of a tongue twister, you, uh, we wouldn't be leveraging any regexes uh, within a within a code base. It would just all be, say, like an input validation library. Uh, but uh, sometimes it, it's not possible, right? So go ahead, check that out, and uh, let me know how it goes. You would you'll be really surprised if you do on your spare time do refactor, say, like an, your employer's uh, code base or just a code base that you're working on at work. Uh, uh, and just do some security enhancements, you'll be amazed at what that can do for your career. Uh, that It's helped me actually a lot. So I don't know, do a little experiment and just, just check it out. So, uh, and also, uh, as always, please uh, review the links below the video. There's additional resources uh, like we, we already talked about, but there's also some other items as well uh, that you might find useful. So thanks so much and uh, looking forward to seeing you again. All right, bye-bye.